too. Hopefully you've had a great weekend. Either you were gigging, you were shedding, whatever it was, you had your guitar in your hand. Or even if you were just chilling, hope you had a great weekend. So I want to continue this this jam session series of uh, great videos, great songs that we're going to continue to work over. Uh, this one song is like one of the jam session favorites. I used to play this a lot of times um, back in the day. And sometimes even now, then you never know an artist may pull it out. It's Maxwell's Ascension. Maxwell's Ascension. It's a really cool song, really cool vibe. I'm going to show you a couple of different ideas my approach of how we can play it and also just some different ideas that you can use to enhance what you already know if you're just learning the song that you can add to your repertoire. So let's take a listen to the song and then we're going to jump right in and start playing, okay? So let's just jump right in real quick. So um, this key of this song is in C major, right? So when we go through the scale. So because, again, it's kind of a loop until like certain sections that we'll get in or whatever. I'll show you a couple different ideas. Since it's just a loop, there's two different ideas that we can take to approach this song, right? So we can do this minor 9 um, chord, like a D minor 9. Go to that. Minor seven, and then do a full minor seven. Like a pickup. That's one option, right? And then another option we could do is that we could do that F, F major seven, and go to that E minor seven. Do like an A sus or you want to so A dominant. Or either you could just do like the rhythmic stuff. You don't even have to go to that A if you want. You can just really stay on that. Just do that F minor F major seven, I'm sorry, and then an E minor seven. along with the song so you can kind of hear um, exactly what I'm talking about. Then we're going to get into like a, some different couple of ideas of stuff I want to show you that you can add that it can enhance what you're doing already. want to have a space feel sometimes you can do that double on um, stop on the minor pentatonic on the a minor pentatonic starting on that d So 
So this is the part that I want to show you that you can learn to pick out the parts. You can play the exact notes where they're playing in this particular section as an accent that kind of like enhance what you're doing. Now, again, this is not a, a means for you to solo. So don't think, oh, at this particular moment, I'm going to step on overdrive. No, you're just playing the same melody underneath the singer. Now, you don't have to overplay the singer, but you're just playing the melody along with the singer, okay? So let me back it up just a little bit, and then we're going to play this one particular section. And then you really pr pretty much have the song. And I know right now you may seem like, oh man, that's just a lot to do. Once you get this, I promise you, when you put that in the line, you play that line in the song because it's in the song, people are going to be like, man, that sounds really good because it's tasteful and it allows you as a guitar player to not to feel like you're stuck in that one particular spot just playing those same chords. Here we go again. particular like and start like figuring out exactly what he's playing and everything you can get even more extra so this part comes in roughly around like a minute 37 so if you want to just practice on that particular part a minute 37 that's really good so let's play it again <laughs> Again, that part is not necessary to play in the song. You can still play the same chords, but it's cool, like I said, just to play those different accents in the song. Like, it's just really cool to be able to step out because it's a jam session. You know, you want to still be tasteful, but you still, like, I want to keep you, like, just stuck into one particular position. So that's essentially the chords in the song. You can choose to go back in between both the chords. Like, n now that I'm listening back to the song, you don't necessarily need to go to that A, sus, and dominant seven. That's not really necessary in the, in the song. Just doing that um, F uh, minor 7 and that E minor 7. You can do that movement. Yeah, D minor 9, that A minor 7. Those two were fine. You could just get between that. And then also the rhythmic stuff like the doodling. So, like, you can get along with that, get away with that rhythmic stuff in conjunction with the chords. You want to find yourself, like, putting it all together. So you can formulate your own situation, but you want to be tasteful in the fact that you can play along with the song, not to get it, really get away from the song. Also, too, like I said, think about playing the accents. Like, you don't have to play it because it's not necessary, but it's really cool as a guitar player that you can play the accents in conjunction with a singer. And remember, when you're in this setting, you're not trying to overplay the singer. It's just a cool thing for you to play. Now, if you get asked to solo, you can play that particular part in the song because it's in the song. So those are things for you to think about. Hopefully you enjoyed this lesson. Stay tuned for more. Also, if you really enjoyed this lesson, I got one more thing to tell you really quick. And you want, you know, saying that you'd like for me to go more in depth or whatever, consider joining my online guitar community, Carrie's Camp. 
So, like, if you like this particular lesson and you're thinking about, like, you know what, I like what he's doing, but I want to go more in depth, consider joining my, my online guitar community, Carrie's Camp. It's carrytoosmooth.com. I'm going to put the you know the link in the description so that way you'll know exactly what it is. But I would love for you to be a part of this guitar community where I go more in depth and I give you all of the insight on how to be the best Army guitar player you could possibly be.